Have you ever been given multiple files, like PDFs, and have the requirement to merge those PDFs together into a single document? Well, I have, and I know I have struggled with that in the past because there's not a very easy way to do that unless you maybe have some paid software or you go to some sketchy website that you might be uncertain about. And so to, in today's video, we're going to be discussing how you can use Power Automate Desktop to combine multiple PDFs together. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now, uh, we are using the Power Automate Desktop. If you are totally new to Power Automate, then I want to guide you here, of course, that you can find where to download the Power Automate Desktop by going to flow.microsoft.com. You can also go to powerautomate.com. That'll redirect you here as well. Once you're signed in, you're going to go into the My Flow section and give that a moment or two. And you'll select that you want to create a new flow and you'll be prompted to either create a desktop flow or a cloud flow here. So you'll see right now I'm looking at desktop flows that I can select. And if you select that, it's going to prompt you to download the Power Automate desktop. You can also find it underneath the install section here as well. You can find the Power Automate desktop to have that installed and ready to go. All right. So for my scenario here, I have the need to create a Power Automate desktop solution that will allow me to merge together multiple PDF files into a single file. And just to give you a little bit of a picture of what we're looking at, we teach a lot of classes. And one of the classes that I teach is actually focused on Power Automate Desktop. And as part of that class, it has 10 different, actually more than that, it has 12 different lab files that I'd like to consolidate and bring together and merge into one single solution. And again, there's ways to do this. You can either have a paid approach where you go use a uh, software that uh, like Adobe, or I could actually uh, use some pretty sketchy websites to accomplish this as well. But rather than doing that, I want to show you how you can do this within the Power Automate desktop. And so to do this, we're going to start by creating a new flow. So this is the Power Automate desktop that I already have downloaded and installed. And we'll click on new flow here. We'll give the flow a name. And we'll hit create. And this is going to launch the Power Automate designer where we can actually start to build our flow. Okay, so we'll give us a few moments. Now, with inside of this solution, you'll see we have on the left-hand side all sorts of actions that we can choose from. In the middle is where we're going to start to see the layout of our Power Automate desktop flow creation. Uh, and what we're going to do, is, again, is we're going to search out to a particular folder. So we have a folder where we have all of these PDFs. We're then going to tell it through some PDF actions that you have available in the action section that we want to merge these PDFs together. So first things first, we need to locate where the PDFs are found. And so on the left hand side, you can search through and use things like the file or even the folder uh, options that you have available. And using the folder options, you'll be able to find quite a few different options that are available to you. In fact, let's actually take a step back and do more of a folder search rather than a file search here. So using the folder option, it's moving a little slow for me right now. There we go. Uh, using the folder option, we can kind of search out and find the folder location and pull back a list of all of the items within the folder that we want to connect to. So we want to get files in a folder. That's the option we want to use in this scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and drag it into the design surface. I'll zoom out for a moment. There we go. So once we've done that, it's going to prompt and ask, which folder do we want to use for this scenario? Now you can pass in variables. We, we will speak more about variables in future videos, but you can have the folder location stored in a variable, or you can actually kind of hard code it and point it to a folder location of your choosing. So if I hit select a folder here, I can go navigate to the folder that I want. I happen to have that folder already open here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the file path of this folder and paste it in to our location here. Okay. Uh, you also have the ability to apply filters. So you'll see there's a file filter option where right now it has a little star symbol, which basically means it's going to bring back all of the files within the folder, but you could choose to filter to just particular files. You can also tell it to include or exclude a subfolder. So do you want, to, want it to basically traverse multiple folders that you have? And in this case, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave that turned off. All right. Uh, that's really it for this. So this is going to pull back our list of files. There are some more advanced features that are available and it's going to store the files in a variable called files. And we'll, again, we'll discuss more about variables later, but let's go ahead and hit save to create this first step within our flow to get the files from a folder. 
Now with that selected, we can tell it now that we want to merge those files together using some of the PDF actions that are available to us. So if we search in the action section for PDF, you should see that there are several options as far as how you can merge PDFs together here. You can extract images from a PDF, you can extract text from a PDF, you can extract PDF pages to a new PDF, and then the option that we want, of course, is that we want to merge the PDF files together. So I'm going to bring in the Merge PDF Files option, and it's going to ask us where are our PDFs stored. And so what we're going to do is we're going to tell it that we have our location stored in a variable. So we're going to go ahead and select the variable, and we're going to select the files variable. So that's our list of files. It's, a, it's an array. It's a list of files that we want to pass in to our Merge PDF Files action here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, double, double click on it. And then we're going to tell it where do we want to store the merged PDF. So what location do we want these merged PD, this final result to be stored in? And so we can go find the folder location where we want to store these in. Again, I happen to have it right here. And I'll go ahead and tell you what. I'm going to take a, full, a step back in the folder. And I'm going to store it right here instead. And we'll go ahead and tell it that this is going to be our folder where we're going to save the final result. But we got to give the final result a name here. So we'll call this uh, combined. PDF Labs. All right, and then we'll hit open. All right, so it's going to store our file location. Let's make sure it has the proper file extension here just in case. So let's go back over to our location once more. All right, and we'll just store it as, again, we called it complete uh, labs or merged labs dot PDF. Let's call it that. All right, we'll hit open. And we are ready to go. There's no password that's required for these PDFs. So we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. And so now it's got these, this two-step process here. It's a pretty small process, not too complicated. And uh, we're going to go ahead and save this because we're done. But there is one little trick that I'm going to show you here after a moment, after we run this one. All right, so it saved that Power, Power Automate Desktop Flow. We're now going to run this flow and make sure whenever you hit run, you kind of take your hands off the keyboard and mouse because it's going to do a little work behind the scenes for you. But it is already done for us. And so what we should be able to see is if I go look in my class files, I see a new file here called Merged Labs. And if I open that, it's going to have all of my labs merged together. Now, there's going to be one issue that we're going to discover with these labs. And that issue, you can see it's 356 pages. That issue is that it doesn't did not properly sort the files. So you'll see lab number nine is actually the first lab that we see. You'll then see it looks like the next one will probably be number eight. So it's not sorting these labs properly. So one of the things that you can do is make to make sure that the labs actually sort properly is to add some kind of a sort order to your lab numbers. So you know you may, may actually name the files so that way they appropriately get sorted here. So I actually have a separate example where I've already done that. And I have uh, the folder here called Lab Manuals and PDF Sorted. So I'm going to go ahead and steal this link, this folder location. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust our first step by double clicking on it and changing the location that we're using to my sorted file folder. And I'll hit Save. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this output. So we'll go ahead and name this. Uh, lab manuals or merge labs sorted, hit save, and save this flow again, and then run this flow once it's finished saving, and we should have a second output now that's properly sorted our data, or properly sorted our files. So let's go back over to our end result here. You can see there is now a merge labs sorted, and if I open this one, we should see our labs now sorted. In fact, actually, it looks like I need to change it a little bit. It still has lab number 10 showing up first. So I would need to kind of do something to make sure that the lab order is properly sorted. So now it's it did change the sort order, but you can see it sorted it with number 10 first. The reason why it did that, by the way, is it's sorting it alphabetically. So it saw lab number 10 and saw the number 1 and assumed 1 should be sorted before everything else. So if one little trick there, I'll still need to do. But all of the other labs have now been sorted properly based on the name of the file. So you do need to make sure that you name the files properly. It looks like that lab number 10, I still need to make a small adjustment on. But that is how you can merge multiple files together using the PDF and folder retrieval options built with inside of the Power Automate desktop. 
a very simple flow, not too complex, but you can see how easy it is to do something that you might have done in the past through other solutions, but now you can do with Power Automate Desktop. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know what are some of the other things you'd like to learn about with Inside Power Automate Desktop as I continue this series <clears throat> teaching you some of the different features that you have with Inside the Power Automate Desktop. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and look forward to showing you some new options in the future. Thanks so much.